Hey Rose, what's up? Welcome. Welcome back. Hey, if you're new, I'm Chanel. What's good in the hood? Sorry, that's not my usual intro. <laughs> hey, I'm Chanel. I'm your resident movie watching BFF. You've clicked on my reaction and commentary channel, the channel where we watch movies together, and I just let you know what's going on in my head the whole time I'm watching them. I really like to call out filmmaker things because that's how I glean the most fun from the movies. And if you're here, I really hope you like movies just as much as me. Uh, I always say this, but don't forget to stick around to the end of one of my videos because we will do the IMDb movie trivia together. I will attempt to answer all the rhetorical questions. Why do I have my headphones in? I will attempt to answer all those rhetorical questions that I've asked out loud because, you know, unfortunately, you're not here with me. All right, that's the whole thing. Today, I'm super excited for Men in Black from 1997. This is one that I'm certain I would have caught in glimpses as a kid. I think to keep this as fun as humanly possible, I'm not even going to look at anything. Like I can't even go to the IMDb because I don't want to see anything. I think I remember Aliens because I would have also done the Men in Black ride. I don't know where. Universal maybe? Or Disney? No, definitely Universal. I think I remember an alien coming out of a guy's chest. Is that for real? Men in Black is definitely Will Smith. I saw Tommy Lee Jones. It's just too... I don't know. Are they alien hunters maybe? I think I just remember a guy coming, an alien guy coming out of a chest. And yeah, let's go with alien hunters and they're called the men in black. So to make this the most fun ever, I, I don't want to know any more than that. I think there's like, there's going to be sunglasses. And um, when I was doing really fast typey typing this into HBO, I saw Barry Sonnenfeld directed and we've had Barry on the channel before. He is like such a cool jack of all trades. He's not only a director, but he's also a DP. And we've seen him do Adam's Family and a couple of other cool things on the channel. So we'll tackle Barry afterward. All in all, I always say this for this type of movie, I'm just going to have as much fun as humanly possible. And we're going to look for snazzy dialogue because this is about this is about that era in Hollywood. I think this would have been a huge blockbuster, a huge hit, and just a popcorn movie. And I think that's what my channel lacks sometimes. I think sometimes when I look at other reaction channels, I think I'm lacking on the popcorn hits. So come along with me for this fun ride. I think I'll do it justice. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And of course, if you want more from me, Patreon information below, other ways to support me below. If you wouldn't mind, give this video a like, hit subscribe, come on, just, come, just try, just try it. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video, which is Men in Black from 1997. Amblin. Some Spielberg touch on this? Ooh, Tommy Lee Jones billed higher than Will Smith. Somebody's agent pushed. Already, to me, a very odd font choice. I think it looks a little weak. I would have liked to seen some block letters, you know? Ah, Tony Shalhoub. All right, y'all, where's this bug going? What is this bug doing? Who is this fly gonna sting? Danny Elfman? It's Tim Burton's guy. It's Danny Elfman. Splat? Splatter? Nope. Made it. I'm obsessed with how these movies are stringing together on my channel. Based on a Marvel comic? Men in Black is Marvel? Steven Spielberg produced. Okay, do you love how shook I am just by the credits? Like, I'm, I'm not not okay right now. Thank you. Where are we? Border patrol, okay. So he's driving people across the border. Hope you saved it all for your lawyer, my friend, because you are gonna need it. <gasps> we'll take Reveal. It. Top build actor. Hey, this movie failed. No. <laughs> right here. <gasps> what? Huh? Mikey, when they let you out of jail. Political refugee, right. You know how many treaties you just violated? One. Or try seven. He's a political refugee hiding as a Mexican civilian. It's a Jar Jar Bink scenario, though. <laughs> right? Well, that's fun. That scream that that guy just said was very on pitch. I was like, ah. <laughs> Sorry. 
I know. Oh, looks like you got some entrails on you there, pal. Yay, entrails. So the men in black maybe hunt aliens, I think. Oh, that's good, fellas. Give me a splay burn around the perimeter with holes at 40, 60, and 80 meters from right. This is so fun. What in the hell is going on? Excellent question. And the answer you're looking for lies right here. Who are you? Really? Yeah, introduce yourself, please. Tommy Lee Jones. The figment of your imagination. Oh, erase their memories. Ha ha ha. Good old breed. What a good face for cinema. I'll tell you, Kay, I will miss the chase. Is he retiring or is he gonna die? Freeze! NYPD, freeze! Okay, Will Smith, what are we wearing, bro? He did say NYPD. It'd just be raining black people in New York. <gasps> raining black people. He's NYPD, but he also looks like he's in j a jail uniform. Punk ass down! He's coming! He's coming! And when he gets here, I'll rest his ass, too. You know me, I'm just like, where are we in New York? I die. That's definitely Central Park. Oh my god, are people like mutants in this world? Like, what is good? Ever since I saw it was based on a comic, now I'm like, I didn't realize we were playing in that realm. Up. Hell yeah. Your world's gonna end. Mom. I, look, I, wait, wait a minute. Let me talk to you. I, I... Splat. It looks like poison. Don't you take that away. I'm eating that, damn it. You're useless, Beatrice. That's right. Get this man. Goddamn truck. Jokes. Punchline. Goddamn truck. Boom. You can have my gun when you pry it from my cold dead fingers. Your proposal is acceptable. Your proposal is acceptable. Oh, I'm thinking they like, yeah, they wear the human. Because D'Onofrio doesn't get killed in the first few minutes of this movie. He's in the whole thing. I'm sure of it. Now he's like a mutant. More. Mmm. <clears throat> That's really cool and very well done, this effect. I have no idea how makeup would have achieved that. That's very cool. Definitely some prosthetic work, but wow. And uh, why is it that none of the other officers saw either of these two events? Well, sir, some of the other officers are a little soggy around the midsection. I guess that's why they weren't able to keep up. Edwards, if you were half the man I am. What the hell are you talking about? I am half the man that you are. <laughs> a little soggy around the midsection. Take 10 minutes on a Stairmaster, you pudgy bastard. It's kind of rude, though, you guys. Can't really say that to your superior. Yes, that's right. Will you look this, please? <gasps> Memory erased. Okay, so these men in black are in damage control. Would you recognize that weapon of his if you saw it again? Absolutely. I'm part of a bureau that licenses, monitors, and polices alien men. MIB, men in black. We're here. Hmm, where are we? I'm calling this the East Village, heading towards the West. Stolen Rolexes. Oh, well, I'm a huge crack dealer now, but I still work here because I love. Huge crack dealer now. <laughs> Why don't you show him the imports, Jeeves? Hi, hey, Kay. How are you? Show him the imports right now. Drop the weapon and put your hands on your head. You're insensitive. Oh, he full of slime. That's an alien guy, too. Get an idea how much that stings. Show us the merchandise or you're going to lose another head. Damn, Jeebs. How's that actor controlling one eye? That's interesting. Right there. The one in the middle. And I'm going to be back to talk about them Rolexes. I need some Will Smith's character right now to be like, what the f***? Like, I need him to, like, be more shocked. But I guess he's happy to be believed, right? Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> cool story, bro. Tell it again. You have time. Hmm, 
they obviously see some merit in keeping Will Smith around. I don't know his character's name right now. He's not just getting the memory treatment, you know? Interesting, interesting. I'm loving it. I do wish I had some popcorn right now. <laughs> Gotta fix my ride. Gotta pimp my ride. <laughs> great jacket 10 out of 10 jacket you're all here because you're the best of the best marines air force navy i knew it they were like will smith's the real deal let's recruit him second lieutenant jake jensen west point graduate with honors we're here because you're looking for the best of the best of the best sir oh my god take a chill pill buddy you're not being graded on this <laughs> your boy captain america over here <laughs> the best of the best of the best sir <laughs> My boy, Captain America. <laughs> this is good. Good comedy. We know Will Smith got that comedy. Could we get these boys a clipboard? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> this is a seizure warning. Folks at home. Really seemed dangerous at the time, sir. How'd you come to that conclusion? He, he's sneezing. You know, ain't no real threat there. Then I saw a little Tiffany. I'm thinking, you know, eight-year-old white girl, middle of the ghetto, bunch of monsters, this time of night with quantum physics books. She about to start said. She's about eight years old. Those books are way too advanced for her. And to be honest, I'd appreciate it if you eased up off my back about it. <laughs> if somebody do that monologue and post it to TikTok and tag me, please. It was phenomenal. With authority. So do I. All the best movie characters do, okay? We got a real maverick on our hands. Everybody thought the agency was a joke, except the aliens who made contact March 2, 1961, outside New York. Whoa. There were nine of us. To... 61. Oh, you brought that tall man some flowers. This way. And the World's Fair was just a cover-up for the Atlantic. Why else would we hold it in Queens? More non-humans arrive every year, and they live among us in secret. Uh, look, I'm sorry. Wanga! Wanga! How you doing, fellas? I... That's not decaf, is it? Viennese cinnamon. Yum. That's part of the ride. That's definitely part of the ride. I remember these guys. I don't think I've seen this movie. I think I've been on the ride. They, this is like part of the line going into the ride. Um, it's like a model of this. So, you guys seen that good wangers? Sure you don't want some coffee? Uh, I believe you now. Oh, I love seeing the skyline pre-9-11. It's so sad, though. Humans, for the most part, don't have a clue. They don't want one or need one, either. They're happy. They think they have a good bead on things. 500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was flat. And 15 minutes ago, you knew that people were alone on this planet. Think again. Imagine what you'll know. The catch is, you will sever every human contact. Nobody will ever know you exist anywhere. Ever. It's a big catch. Oh yeah, it's worth it. If you're strong enough. Well, that's all he needed to hear. This is where we get, hopefully, some backstory. Does he have family? Does he have a girlfriend? Does anybody care about him? Does he care about anybody? <sighs> Loving the fan location, you know? Okay, so like, some of these guys are not threatening at all. You wanna stay away from that guy, he's uh... He's grouchy. That was real, that was practical, that was some guy in some cellophane. <laughs> Proud, doesn't it? Huh? Hey, what's this thing? <laughs> The alien technology is just a really, 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 really bouncy ball. <laughs> oh! This thing caused the 1977 New York blackout. Oh my god. That was like on par with the library domino scene in The Mummy in terms of destruction. I uh, meet the twins. And Bob. 
This map shows the location of every... What was that first guy's name? <laughs> in public, they're as normal as you are, but in private, well... Stallone's an alien. And who, who else? Was that Roker? But I knew our teacher had to be from, from like, Venus or something like that. Be quiet and pay attention! So, aliens live among us, people. They're here. Put what on? The last suit you'll ever wear. Comment below, do you think they're already here? And it's just being covered up? I think probably. Anonymity is your name. We are the men in black. Jay. That was iconic. And now we're going to see him in the suit. Difference is between you and me. I wear the shit out of this suit. I make this look good. <gasps> Hire me. You can just tell. You just know when it's coming. When a zinger is going to happen. This guy is so scary. Like the skin falling off, man. Ugh. Okay, now we're ready to go. We're gonna meet oh. one of daddy's friends. You're gonna like it. Something's gonna happen to that cat. We had an unauthorized landing somewhere in upstate New York. Okay, keep your ears open on this one. We saw that one. Stuck on the New Jersey Turnpike. Why don't you take Junior? Classic. A good one for him to warm up on. So they're like customs. What's gonna happen to Cat Daddy? Jesus, he's big. Don't you see the face all wrong? Hmm. So these are aliens. That object's gonna be important. Gave him a break. Those look so good. I wanna eat that so bad. You can kill us both, but you will not find the galaxy. I'm devastated. What a waste of perfectly beautiful looking pierogi. I'm real mad. Correct me if that's not what those dumpling things were. Pretty sure they were though. I'd like to see your other license and registration, please. Yeah, bitch. The alien kind. And, um, and you handle this. What? Me? Girl? No, it's easy. You just catch. Hang on, Reggie. What's going on? Oh, well, we're, we're meeting someone. Meet. <laughs> see, what's the rush to get off the planet all of a sudden? Hmm, rush to get off the planet. <laughs> oh, man. It's your sweetie little baby. Cute. Actually, kind of. <laughs> just, just saying, just thinking in my head, that thing looks great. It does, it looks real. They made... They made that thing. It's a physical, practical... You here to make fun of me, too? No, ma'am. We at the FBI do not have a sense of humor we're aware of. May we come in? We do not have a sense of humor we're aware of. Excellent. Did he say anything? Yes. He asked me for some water. Some, uh, sugar water. Mmm. Forgot about that. <gasps> water. Wipe that memory, babe. And now that he's gone, you gonna go in town, you go to Bloomingdale's, you find yourself some nice dresses, where maybe you get a facial, and uh, oh, hire a decorator to come in here quick, cause damn. Damn. The men in black are like, they're like damage control. Please, not green. Uh-oh, what's green, you guys? I don't suppose you know what kind of alien life form leaves a green spectral trail and craves sugar water, do you? Oh, uh, wait, that was on Final Jeopardy last night, damn. Ah, oh, almost had it. Imagine a giant cockroach with unlimited strength. With the bug in town, we'll watch the morgues. Ah, uh, okay. Watch the morgues. Yeah, we've already seen the bug in action. He a killer. Yeah, the sign here. What's the problem with the cat? It's your problem. <laughs> hmm. She's the woman who also saw something and believes Jay. I'm going to be interested to see if she remembers Jay and what happens. Because he's supposed to be off the grid. Examiner tried to verify this rectally only to find the subject was without rectum. Which is needless to say really weird. I'm Dr. Leo Manville, Department of Public Health. This is Dr. White. Dive right in. I'm sure he won't mind. Mm. I'm bracing myself for like an alien in a stomach. You have really pretty eyes. Thank you. Okay, why would you say that in this circumstance? 
somewhere. That we can be sure of. Have we met before? I'm having the strangest feeling of deja vu. Deja vu. Nah. <laughs> nah, girl. <laughs> you know what I like to do sometimes when it's really late? Girl? What? Dr. White. Um, excuse me. A great body. The dead body. Oh, man, you're going to have to go. Great body. Look at this. What the hell is that? Staples? Whoa. 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 That is so sick. That is so cool. The galaxy is on Orion's belt. Orion's belt? This thing looks great. It's perfect. This is so insanely good looking. It's 97. What the f***? Uh, whatever. Come here. Dr. Whatever? Hey, you guys aren't really from the Department of Health, are you? Dr. Babe, come here. He, he said to prevent war, the galaxy is on Orion's belt. This makes total sense. How else do you explain New York? The other day, I was in this cab and... Get guy... her. Never heard her before. Look, we gotta get all the doors closed off around here, especially... Never heard her before. Oh my gosh, this has happened before. How many times have you flashy thing that poor woman? There's only like an open head in there with a freaking alien sitting in there. Gotta cover back up. I guess it's unimportant, Chanel. Listen to me, having questions. Yeah, what is this thing? Okay, those, it was full of diamonds. What are they looking for? I don't know. The twins keep us on Centaurian time. It's a 37 hour day. Ooh. Come on, you'll get used to it, or you'll have a psychotic episode. Either or. Ooh. He's surveilling a honey that he had to leave behind? Probably. Okay. Caught. That's an Archelian battle cruiser. Well, we've got a dead Archelian prince. Oh, the member of the royal family dead. Give the kid a weapon. Finally, promotion, right? For deatomizer. That's what I'm talking about. Noisy cricket. It's pretty tiny. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna break this damn thing. <laughs> This guy is up to no good, but he also didn't find what he needed. Oh my God, the cat's wearing it. What he needs. Who breaks into a jewelry store and leaves all the jewels? Somebody not looking for jewelry. Wow, this is perfect timing for all of them to be there. That's it. That's the, uh, the, in the Man, we ain't got time for this cover-up bullshit. Whether or not you've forgotten, but there's an alien battle cruiser about to... There's always an alien battle cruiser or a Carillion death ray or intergalactic plague that's about to wipe out life on this miserable little planet. The only way these people get on with their happy lives is they do not know about it. Yeah, well, like, in Jay's defense, no one is filling him in at all. He's just, like, learning on the go. You sorry little ingrates! Ah, uh, Are those guys supposed to be like, I don't know, like spring breakers or what? Like they're leaving with cigarettes and booze and whatever. Look, let's tax on Earth. Rude. Now that's the worst disguise ever. That guy's definitely an alien. You can kiss my furry little butt. <laughs> like what do you know? I know nothing. Not a thing. Oh, 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 oh. oh wait, I'm... I'm having like a memory of this dog having a moment in the late 90s. Like, was he in commercials or whatever? You humans, when are you gonna learn that size doesn't matter? Just cause something's important doesn't mean it's not very, very small. The size of a marble or a jewel. Now if you'll excuse me. Or a diamond. If the galaxy's here, it's not on Orion's belt. <laughs> it's around the cat's neck. Oh my god, Orion! Orion was the cat's name. Orion's neck. That's a pretty name. What's 
this. I love when I'm like this much quicker than the movie. Like just this much. <laughs> cool. That's a whole freaking galaxy. Okay. Yes, good. Thank you. Thank you for making- Okay, bro, we got it. Thank you. The deceased. Don't do that. Where's the animal? I told you, I don't know. Well, let's see if we can find it. That was a really bad moment for me to yawn, wasn't it? Well, I don't know where the cat is right now. Oh, you don't? Maybe you could take me with you instead. Is she taking over? Stir fast, don't you? I'd really like to go. Is she taking over her body by that guy? <gasps> Why is that? Oh. Okay, she's under threat. Got it. You're really not getting this. There's something I need you to help me with. <laughs> Freeze it, bud. <sighs> well, anytime a woman shows the slightest hint of sexual independence. Oh, everybody, just... shut up! The slightest hint of sexual independence. Me suck. <gasps> Take me here. No way. Take me. Okay, got it, bro. That's one way to keep it. Mm-hmm. Why would I think he'd put it in a pocket? Bug's got the galaxy, but we got a ship. He's got to be looking for a way out. The bug. A galactic standard week. How the hell long is that? One hour. <laughs> a galactic standard week. <laughs> Kid, to keep the bugs from getting it, the Archelians will destroy that galaxy. And whatever planet it's on. You're talking about us. <laughs> suck, suck. They are so nonchalant about this. Okay, well, that... Bug swallowed the galaxy, so hopefully he has fast digestion. Hey, old guys! Yes, you rang. Do those still work? Wait a minute, is you taking a tunnel? You know a better way to get to Queens? Man, that thing's gonna be packed. Get the ferry. You remember the little red button? Yeah, push the little red button. It's too tense. You're a young man. You need to relax. Learn to take some joy in your work. You like music? Pretty psyched we got to see what the red button does. Gotta say. Oh my god. Core memory activated. Do you guys remember those bucket things? And used to dump the toll in? Wow. Pulling the bing guns. There we go. Eight minutes to the destruction of Earth. Everyone's real chill, I gotta say. Who's playing? Mets. Queens. It's over! You're milk, sucker! Oh, 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 oh. Uh... <laughs> this? I'm like so okay. All right, okay. Oh, he's a bug. He's literally a bug. Hmm. What? What are you talking about? Keep him on this planet. Okay. Okay. Where are you going? How do you propose I do that? I'm gonna get my gun back. <sighs> No, he needed to be eaten. I'm not even scared. He needed to go down there and get his gun, and he's got to find the galaxy. There's only one way off of this planet, baby, and that's through me. Ah! Thing looks good enough for me, man. It's 97. I mean, he looks better than the mummy, than Dwayne The Rock Johnson from The Mummy 2. Why are you running, huh? I'm still standing. Squash him. Ugh, I hate cockroaches. <laughs> oh yeah, he hates when you squash bugs around him. I'm sorry. Was that your auntie? Oh, then that must mean that that's your uncle then, huh? Keep going. 
Come on, Tommy Lee Jones, let's go. Make some moves. You need to ease up out my face before something bad happened to you. Stand back. Oh, there, Slimy. Got it. What do we think it is, folks? Corn syrup? I'm saying corn syrup. Going to get your gun back, huh? I like this gun. Is it just, it's just lucky that, that the galaxy was in his stomach? You know, first I, I, had, to, I had to beat him in the head with this big rock, then I was going to hit him with this two by four. Like, ah, with the fire. Not bad for your second day at work, is it? <laughs> Literally his second day. I guess you weren't even alive in six <laughs> Was the girl, that lady. Good job you guys have. <laughs> Recruit the lady. Look, I know we got these rules and everything, but I was thinking she did help us bust that bug. Maybe we didn't have to flashy thing. Retiring, maybe? I haven't been training a partner. I've been training a replacement. <gasps> oh. Days, months, years. Always face it forward. Really? There's, there's just be no training on that. Just here you go. Enjoy yourself. See you around, Jay. So does that mean Tommy Lee Jones doesn't come back in a minute black two? You won't. Oh, okay. He goes back to his honey. I love that ending. That's cute. Ooh, new glasses, matrix status. Zed called the high consulate from Salaxium 9 once floor seat. Yes, she's one of them. I knew it. All right, let's yes. Call to Dennis Rodman. He's from that planet. <laughs> Dennis Rodman. Not much of a disguise. Not much of a disguise. Too good. Freaking adorable. They said it, the, si the galaxy the size of a little marble. Cool, we're like, we're just a drop in the bucket, you guys. All right, let's stop that. No one needs to see that. Let's talk about it. Oh my gosh, you guys, Men in Black from How to Check, 1997, I've now seen it. That was really, really fun. I feel like in a post-Marvel world, I can see that this is like planting the seeds for that, that like, turn up of the marvel movies but yeah this is like 10 years before I guess iron man and it's i can see it making a splash at the time right you're gonna have to correct me if i'm wrong in 97 this had to be pretty cool i still think it's cool i think all the practicals absolutely hold up the makeup the bugs the the, the puppets it's like kind of top tier it's definitely one of those movies i think people would place in like in like the history of effects like this has got to come up I, I mean we'll look it up maybe I'm just talking out my ass here but the other thing is I'm shocked at how simple this movie was I really really did think it was gonna be a little bit more complicated it's not really they just the men in black just monitor right and I was kind of shocked that the problem the problem didn't crop up I mean we had the crash landing from the bug early on and we know like Oop, what's going on with that guy right like you, we've got that I'm pretty shocked that the galaxy mention didn't come until really late in the movie clearly that bug was looking for something he went straight for the galaxy and it was it was a fun reveal but all in all I'm just so shocked I'm shocked at the simplicity it was just beyond simple this movie I really liked that Will Smith's character wasn't just kind of all already a man in black a man in black that he had to kind of prove himself and go through a little training there was such comedy there um we got to look up puppets and animatronics and goo and how they did all that and there was some cgi but you know it looked pretty good for the time in my opinion and yeah all in all just like a fun simple time trivia section the known aliens on screen okay i got al roker and i got stallone but there was also danny devito missed him Oh, that's sad I missed him. Chloe Sonnenfeld, who's Barry's daughter. Sylvester Sloan, Dion Warwick, Newt Gingrich, Anthony Robbins, George Lucas, and executive producer Steven Spielberg. Oh, those were too quick. I'm so upset I missed those because that would have been a really cool reaction for me if I, if I saw. I literally saw Al Roker and Stallone. 
<laughs> Will Smith improvised the line, it just be rain and black people in New York. I really thought that was very funny and very snazzy. Will Smith is crushing mustard packets when he's crushing cockroaches. For the iconic suits, costume designer Mary E. Voigt made an effort to avoid looking too much like the Blues Brothers. She said she was inspired by Cary Grant's classic gray suit in North by Northwest. These suits are so freaking classic, man. Barry Sonnenfeld claimed he directed Tommy Lee Jones to play every scene straight. Jones became frustrated he wasn't allowed to do comedic takes. Sonnenfeld insisted Agent K had to be completely serious for the comedy to work. I agree. I actually happen to really agree. Crew built a 90 foot, a 96 foot replica of the Queens Midtown Tunnel, exactly one eighth the size of the real one. It was completely authentic down to graffiti and took four months to build. Okay, how we got the, the skin for D'Onofrio. Silk swatches were glued to D'Onofrio's cheeks and tied around the back of his head to stretch his face. It was silk. Okay, there was originally going to be an animatronic bug at the end. After script rewrites, looking for a more action-oriented ending, the original animatronic bun bug was discarded after eight months of development. The new sequence used a redesigned bug containing 45 CGI shots at a cost of $100,000 each. Whew. All right, that really amps up this budget for me. I think this would have been cool. It says the climax was going to be a humorous existential dialogue between Agents J and K and the bug. But the studio called for a more action-packed climax, so it was changed to the bug getting blown up. Oh my god, I was going to say the font is Adam's Family Values font. Sonnenfeld used the same font that he did in Values. So I wanted to look up animatronics in this. And so far the trivia section has two mentions, of, two mentions of animatronics. And both are saying that the animatronic bug at the end was scrapped in favor of a CGI bug. So we're going to have to go elsewhere to find out about... Yeah, it was kind of the sweet spot. Who is this, by the way? Eric Bevig. Originally spoke to visual effects supervisor Eric Brevig about Men in Black's aliens. Okay. Brevig said, the most satisfying part for me was realizing we were definitely at that sweet spot between practical and digital effects. I happen to agree. It was the, the industry was swinging too far in one direction. Yeah, it was probably like all CG or all practical. And it's kind of leveling out once again and saying, let's use the best technique for what we need to do. Yeah, like in the opening scene, it's like a CG alien body, but the guy's head is actually on a stick. There's the actor's head that you see Mikey holding on a stick. The Mikey that we saw in the film is a CG character, but Rick did a bunch of prosthetic and mechanical creatures, especially for the Men in Black headquarters, and sometimes we would just hand off between practical and CG, like the worm guys. Yeah, those were CG. Some scenes were puppeteered creatures and others were CG versions of the same characters. I think this is so charming. I just think this movie is just like almost as charming as like a Star Wars because they are blending elements. Whoa, in the end, Vincent D'Onofrio, when he rips, is like really ripping makeup. The worm guys. We took puppet models of them and cyber scanned them on a turntable. Then those became the shell of the model we would build. They were live puppeteered, essentially. When you see them in the coffee room, they're attached to this set. So those were puppeteered. Cool. Then they scanned those and made full CG models as well, textured them, and you have the ability to have them walking around. So when they're in the coffee scene, they're built into the set. I don't know if I caught that. And then the craftsmanship for the Archelian head was kind of insanity. Ha, <laughs> the pug is a visual effects scene. Miniatures for the UFO crash. Whoa, this freaking website is sick. Beforesandafters.com. The article is called Men in Black and its crazy collection of real and CG creatures from July 2nd, 2022. So it's a pretty recent article. The only thing left to do is do budgeting and uh, I'm going to get this really wrong because I don't think it's as high as a $100 million movie. 90. Whoa, and I was going to say 100. I just thought there's no way in 97 they spent $100 million on a movie, but <laughs> they did. Okay, so you've seen my reaction to Men in Black from 1997. So now I want to hear from you. Sound off below. Did you catch this one in theaters? It's my favorite question to ask, so definitely let me know. What did you think when it came out? Was this like really cool for you to go see? And uh, what did you think at the time of the special effects? I happen to think they're very impressive. I think they fit in really nicely in the scheme of like from like Star Wars to present day. This just like this fits seamlessly into the narrative. Love the mixtures of practicals and CGI. Very cool for me. And um, just pretty shocked at how, how simple and fun and easy this was. And I did not find an answer for what the goo was made out of. So if you guys know that, you're going to have to let me know down below. Um, Patreon information if you want to catch my full length to this as well as some other full lengths. We have fun on the Patreon. That's all I'm going to say. It's pretty fun. And of course, you know, I'm going to go eat because I'm starving. Duh. <laughs>